All right, girls, well, welcome to tonight's team call. We have Miss Mindy sharing with us tonight, and she's going to be talking about posting, um, kind of like content, right? Posting and what to talk about in your posts and things like that. And that's something that you guys kind of talked about um, struggling with and like being creative and, and where to get ideas from. So um, she's going to share a bit on that tonight to help guide us a little bit more, maybe um, give you some ideas to pull from and different things like that. Um, so if you have any questions, drop them in the chat box and we'll be sure to check that before we sign off. Or if um, she says something that has been working for you, um, feel free to share that in the chat as well, because the more we can collaborate together and give each other ideas, the, the more successful we're all going to be, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to you, Mindy, and mute myself. All right. Um, it's telling me that you've disabled screen sharing. So if you want to enable that, I've got um, some slides. Okay. All right. Everybody see okay? I'm going to blow these up a little bit too. So, okay. Um, so like Corey said, we're going to talk about ideas for posting on social media. So this is one that I think it was in last week's call that we talked about that a lot of people had interest in um, just some newer, fresher ideas or getting re-engaged in posting. And I know that this is an area that I... I tend to struggle, but it kind of comes and goes. Like I go in, I'll have like a lot of just really good ideas for content and like everything's right on the mark. And then I'll go in like these lulls where I'm like, I don't know what I want to say. I have nothing to say. And it kind of like ebbs and flows for me. So typically some things that I'll do is I will go back to, I've got quite a few like screenshots and things like that on my phone with posting ideas. So I've included some of those in here today and then just some other ideas as well. Um, but those are, I know like what I'll go back to when I'm, when I'm struggling. So the first is um, thinking through like what makes you, you. Um, there's been a couple of calls on the national wake up call where coaches will talk about creating like your color wheel. Um, so thinking about like, what are the things that you are going to talk about that are going to explain who you are, that are going to help you to attract the people that you want to serve moving forward. So for me specifically, when I think about, um, like what makes up my color wheel and there's more than just this, but these are some big ones that, that stick out. Um, I'm a working mom. So I work outside of the house 50 plus hours a week, plus all my mom stuff, plus all my coaching. So that is something that I will talk a lot about. Um, and I know that there's other working moms out there who are in the same situation that I am as well. I love to meal prep. You guys know I love to meal prep. I will do a lot of posts about here's what I'm making for the week. Here's some recipes. Here's, you know, pictures of what I'm going to be eating, um, different things like that. And that's one that is pretty consistent for me because I do meal prep every week. Um, typically uh, here recently, we've had a couple of crazy weeks, but for the most part, I'm pretty consistent with that. So that always is for me, that's always really good content. Um, personal development. That's another one where I have been posting a lot more about what I'm reading, what I'm listening to takeaways from what I'm reading, um, incorporating it into my stories, things like that. And, and part of what I'll talk about too is that I didn't always love personal development. I was a person who didn't think that I needed it. And so once I started to engage in the personal development and I'm like, oh, you know, where's this been all my life? So that's one that I think is on the top of my list. Um, my coaching journey, that's part of my story at this point too. So I'll talk about that. Um, I'll talk about just being a divorced mom. So when I started my beach body journey, I was in the middle of, or just starting to down the path of um, my divorce. So I had become a single mom. I, you know, couldn't, couldn't leave to go work out. I had to be at home because I had the girls with me. So that's something that I'll talk about. Um, 
camping and a nature enthusiast. I love, love, love being outside. Not so much when it's like 100 degrees out, but when it's cooler and the weather's nice, um, we're outside constantly. So things like that. Um, I have trauma survivor in here. So I've had a lot of stuff happen with my mom passing away and my divorce, which is trauma and just different things like that, that those were the things that for years and years and years, I didn't talk about that. Now that I'm starting to work through some of that and you realize that there's so, so, so many people out there who identify with those things that are probably also afraid to talk about it and things like that. So that's like where I connect with people, um, in some of my like, um, direct messages and things like that are people who will reach out to me when I've talked about something that is completely separate from any kind of coaching, health, wellness, anything that they're reaching out to me for those things because I'm sharing about it. And, and a lot of people won't share about the things that are messy or, or that are, you know, potentially shameful, or you just don't want people to know about. Um, and then I love, you know, my home workouts. Um, that is something too, that, um, kind of just, makes up my color wheel because I do love being able to just like get up and go in the basement and work out and things like that. So think about what are those things that make you, you, that are going to attract the people that you want to serve and use that as, um, some of your content. Um, using prompts or creating a posting calendar. So this is, this is my favorite because, um, especially when I'm in like a dry spell. So these are some snapshots that I took on my phone that I keep, I believe it was a Brock Johnson post, um, maybe a couple months ago, maybe three months ago or so, but I was like, Oh, these are some really good prompts that, you know, you can go through and just, like I said, I keep them in, in the photo section of my phone because I've literally taken screenshots of them and I have a folder on my phone in my, um, like an album in my camera um, that is just beach body specific. And like, these are in there. So I will go to this and just pick an easy one out or one that um, kind of speaks to me on a certain day if I'm, if I'm not sure about what I want um, to post about for the day or I don't have something queued up already. Pinterest is another really good one. Um, if you just go into Pinterest and put in like story ideas or post ideas, you'll find lists like this that are just very generic. So you can customize it to anything that you are wanting to share or that is going to correlate with your story. Um, and, but you can get an idea, it can kind of spark some interest. So I, I do Pinterest a lot and I'll go back to these a lot. Um, but I know we talked about Brock and there's a couple other, um, a couple other people on, on, um, Instagram also that I follow that I know Kate's mentioned a few of them that she follows as well, who they're very specific to like creating content and things like that, that are, are easy ones to go to. <laughs> So a couple other ones that I have on my phone that I will go back to quite a bit also. This was, I think, from a Push to Emerald group maybe about a year ago or so, maybe nine, ten months ago or so. So this is like a really um, a good one that I'll go back to. Um, and I do, I like the let me lay it out for 30 days. And on a Sunday, I'm going to do this. On Monday, I'm going to do this because that helps keep me um, keep me from, from just kind of blanking on a day. Um, and it gives me that structure. Like I am a structured person. So having a calendar like this laid out ahead of time for me takes so much of like the anxiety and just like the anxiousness away from thinking like, Oh my gosh, what am I going to post about today? What am I going to do today? And then this also helps too, <clears throat> when it comes to the picture piece of it, because like, this is a really cool one that says, here's what the photo would look like. And then here's what the caption could potentially be. Um, and I am one who likes to take um, photos in batches and have them available to go back to versus potentially taking like a brand new picture every day, because I don't, I don't always get ready every day. So I like to have a nice picture where I've maybe put a little bit of makeup on or done something. So I will batch some photos. So if I have something like this, that's in front of me ahead of time that I know I'm going to want a picture of me, you know, um, just with my family or in some clothes because it's going to be a non-scale victory type picture or something like that. Then I can kind of do all that um, ahead of time and have a few of those queued up as well. But this is one I go back to a lot as um, as well. 
And then this one's a little bit blurry, but this um, I have saved on my phone as well. And it was from a group that we did. And I don't even remember when, Corey, I think you shared this one a while back that I saved to my phone, but it is specific to coaching. <laughs> Sorry. I have a sinus infection and it's draining and it just makes me have a dry cough. Um, but this one's specific to coaching. So there is a lot in here that is sharing. And again, it's your story, but it's giving you prompts for sharing your story that are specific to coaching. What does my life look like now? How, where does my free time, um, any kind of financial transformation, um, you know, sharing here's where I was in the beginning versus where I am now. And this is how I got there. Like, that's always a really good prompt. Um, and it can be anything, but in this particular case, it's, it's coaching specifically. Um, so this is uh, a really great one, but again, these are things that I keep them on my phone. So they are handy. So if I have a day where I'm like, Oh my gosh, I don't know what I want to post about. I can go back to these and just start reading through and I'll find the one that speaks to me or the one that clicks with me. And then that's the one that I'll go in and start to create content on. Um, also, so think about, you know, what are some questions that your followers may have? I know that um, in stories, it's really easy to go in and put a question prompt in there and, you know, let people ask questions. But there are times, too, where, you know, you've got people that are following you that you're maybe chatting with in your direct messages. And I've had quite a few of these where I've had people who I've talked to that eventually became clients who were just asking me specific questions about my story. And I'll think about that, like, okay, if this person's asking me, I'm sure there's others out there who are thinking the same thing. So I try to keep that in mind when I have newer clients or um, newer contacts that I'm just starting to reach out to, like, what kinds of questions are they asking me specifically about my story or about my transformation? Because I'm thinking if they're interested in that, there's probably others that are too. So the one I get a lot is, um, why did I become a coach? And then um, my transformation and not necessarily always the physical. Um, I'll have a lot of people. And again, because they're reaching out to me for some of the things that I post that have nothing to do with it, but just have to do with um, finding strength after becoming a single mom or things like that. Those are the things that people want to know about. So I kind of relate that or weave that in to say um, that's part of my transformation and the physical part of it is a huge part, but like the mental and the emotional and the um, just becoming more, more health and wellness focused with my entire mind and body is a big part of that. So thinking about those things and then um, journal prompts is another really good one too. And again, um, I'll go on Pinterest a lot, but there's a lot of really good um, Pinterest boards that talk about journal prompts that will kind of get the, gre you know, the skids greased a little bit on, you know, what are some things that people probably have questions about because it almost kind of makes you do a little bit of soul searching as well. There's a lot of good sites there for, for general prompts. Oh, another fun one. So what are some favorite things that you've learned along your journey? So these ones are really good for if you just want something that's a quick one or so you've got a really cool picture that you want to share maybe. So what are some hacks that you've learned along the way? What are some how-tos? And the how-tos are really cool, especially with like a reel as well. Um, so I'll do like a lot of like meal prepping tips and meal prepping, like how to things in, in Instagram, I will make it a reel with the video and then maybe a comment. And then in Facebook, I might put that same video or maybe just have a couple of pictures that I use for the reel. Um, but hacks, how to's favorite recipes is another one. Um, so if you're struggling for content one day or you um, maybe you have a new recipe that you tried that you want to share, like those are things that your followers are going to like and are going to relate to um, and are really good uh, content to post. Favorite personal development, like I mentioned too, um, I've been doing a lot of different things with different books and, and some of it's a little bit more in depth. So I haven't posted a whole lot on, on this most recent one, but I'll post about like, you know, what are some things, quotes out of personal development books or, um, you know, I read this and it made me feel this way and put those things in there. Just health tips in general, any kind of tips in general are always good because again, we are 
serving the people that we um, are talking to or that are following us. Um, so any kind of tips and things like that are great. Motivational quotes, those are easy ones, especially in a morning post to put out there first thing in the morning to kind of help um, motivate for me, motivate myself when I'm looking those up, but then also like someone else who might be checking in first thing in the morning. So those are all um, really good, easy ones as well. And then um, this one, I recently, we have a, in one of our group texts, I talked about this. <laughs> um, I find a lot that when I am driving in the car, for instance, or maybe I am in the shower and I'm thinking about something that I read or thinking about something, or when I'm, you know, in the kitchen doing the dishes and I get a spark of inspiration for a post or maybe even a string of posts, but I don't necessarily have the time to stop and write it down or have the time to even like start typing it out in my, in my phone um, because I'm driving or I'm, or I'm wet or whatever it is. So I recently found um, it's a dictation app and it's used, I think it was created to be used for even a meeting like this where you could record um, when somebody is speaking and it will take that recording and type it out for you. It's still editable. You can copy it. You can paste it. You can make changes. It will have um, um, notes that it will add as well. So if I for instance, I'm talking about maybe um, something with meal prepping, there will, it will put little notes in there that say this is meal prep related or, or nutrition related, and it does all of that automatically. So I have really been loving this one. I think it's been the last maybe week, week and a half. The particular app that I'm using is called Otter. And I've got like eight or 10 of them that I've created where something just comes to mind and I can quickly just hit record on there. I'll talk as if I'm like talking to a friend and that makes it a lot more conversational as well. So when the actual um, post comes out or I start to edit it, it does sound more like I'm speaking to somebody who's like a, a friend of mine versus just sending something out into the social media realm. Um, so I feel like that just having that tone makes it a little bit more relatable as well. But I love, love, love this this outer app it's been um it's been a really good one and again i've taken them to though where i've where i've spoken and and it's recorded it and it's it's translated it and then i will take it and say oh i do need to make some edits i didn't you know i got a little bit more to here i want to cut something out here i forgot to add something here because it's just it's kind of just almost like a brain dump of what i'm thinking when i get that hit that little strike of inspiration but it does make it a lot faster to turn it into a post as well because i have like the key ideas in there that i want to talk about so that one's been a really um a really kind of a game changer for me and then lastly, don't forget about the power of a shout out. And this is one of our vital behaviors. If you're really struggling and you don't have something for the day or you don't have something queued up or you're kind of not sure, you can always shout somebody out. That is a, a perfectly um, acceptable and encouraged thing is to shout out. Maybe it's a fellow coach or a friend or a client um that is just doing an awesome job or you just want to say hey like this person's crushing it or, or whatever the case may be but that is a really really easy one or a really good one that we should be doing anyways as coaches um but giving a shout out is one that's uh, a good fallback too so i'm going to minimize this okay any any questions, any other thoughts, anything that I maybe missed? And I can put some of these screenshots, like these ones here, <clears throat> in the comments section as well. Um, just because, again, I, I save them to my phone because I go back to them quite a bit too. But that was kind of a short one today, but I'm, I'm trying not to cough a lot also. <laughs> so I knew it was going to be a bit of a struggle. <laughs> No, I think that was super helpful and simplicity makes it easy to grasp and, and take. I took 
a bunch of notes um, and I downloaded the app while you were talking about it. So yeah. I'm excited to try that. Um, actually, if you click on that share button at the top of your Canva, I think, um, okay. yeah, I think you can just um, do a link um that will allow copy the link and you can put that in the comments on facebook and oh, then sweet. if anybody wants to go grab perfect those slides or whatever um all right that, that would allow them that way you don't have to like upload each picture individually or whatever yeah good idea yeah okay. all right cool no i think that was super helpful and i think yeah. that um, you gave some really good um, insight. Like I would have never thought of going to Pinterest and searching, um, like posting your story ideas on Pinterest. I think that that's awesome. And sometimes yeah. you just need that little bit of inspiration to kind of get your mind, get the wheels turning a little bit for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Does anybody have any questions? No? All right, cool. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mindy, for that amazing call and uh, giving us all those good um, prompts and ideas. Those are certainly helpful. I am going to get this recording up for all of you and hopefully I'll see all your beautiful faces in the morning. All right. Good